Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to Ant Lives The Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. To the new subscribers, thank you guys for coming through and showing your boy Ant Live support. You're going to come to find out. Just for that support right there, you guys are showing me that I got your back. And to the channel gang, you guys already know I got your back. This right here marks my 286 build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. In 286 builds this year only proved that fact. Now let's get into this. Now we're going to go with the uh, skill breakdown of the uh, peer playmaker. Now, if I didn't say it, this is Paul George's exact build for offensive threat. It is lethal. Now we're going to go with the pure speed, all right? I like this pie chart for him too. I like this pie chart a lot. But I'm going to go right here. So you can I would either or the first one or the last one. All right? Now we're going to go all the way up on this close shot. We're going to go all the way up on this driving layup. We're going to go all the way up on this driving dunk. We're going to go all the way up on this standing dunk. I right, just going to give him 7. Now, seven finishing. We're going to go all the way up. And you already know we got the 10. We're going to go all the way up on this mid-range. Then we're going to go all the way up on this three-pointer. Now, we're going to bring his uh, free throw to 70. Now, I have a fadeaway tutorial. And it's called uh, fadeaway tutorial. Shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Go check that video out because I'll show you how to shoot the fadeaway any uh, way you want to off of the dribble inside of the three-point line anywhere inside of the three-point line now we're going to bring his pass accuracy up to 82 we're going to bring his ball handle all i mean his ball handle all the way up and then we're just going to bring his post control to 74 and that's going to give him 30 playmaking badges now his perimeter defense we're just going to bring that to 65 we're going to go all the way up on his lateral we're going to go all the way up on his steel nothing on his block and we're going to go all the way up on his defensive rebound all right so he's going to wreck havoc because of his playmaking badges. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and bring him to Burley. But we're going to drop him to 6'5". And then we're going to bring his weight all the way down. Now, we're going to bring his weight to 178. That's just going to give us an extra added strength. Now, you can go up, right? Not thought about it, but I want this build to be super fast and unguardable. Try them out in um, my builder. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, I want to bring his wingspan all the way back to 77.0. Now, when I refer to, and you know we got the 10, that is the slasher takeover that I'm referring to. It is the most powerful takeover on the game. And whenever you ignite it, you're going to get a 10 of your physicals. You're going to get a 10 of your finishing. You're going to get a 5 of your shooting. You're going to get a uh, 10 to your ball handle. You're going to get a 5 to your uh, pass accuracy, a 5 to your post control, and then you're going to get a 5 to your defense and rebounding. But at 99 overall, you see the physicals, where you're at on the physicals. Once you ignite the slash to take over this ball game with this build right here, you're not guarding you. This is a comp build. You can go in the pro-am and, and dominate. You can go in the wreck and dominate, and you can go outside in the park and surely dominate. You can't. You, this build is too fast to be guarded. For an offensive threat. Now, at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 84. You're going to have a driving layup of 92. Right? So when your night decides to take over, both of those will be, well, this close shot will be a 94. And then your driving layup goes over the cap at 99 and will be 102. Now, you have a driving dunk of 72 at 99 overall. You're going to be able to get dunk packages with this build. So he will have a dunk. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be an 82. Now, your standing dunk will be a 59 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 69. Now, you're going to have a mid-range of 89 at 99 overall. And when your knight to slash your takeover. And matter of fact, we're going to go up. We're going to go. Let me make sure this. 
Nah, we're gonna go. If you could go up to seventy-seven point nine, you can because you get a little bit more on your close shot. You get a little bit more on your standing dunk. You miss out on your mid-range, and then you do get a little bit more on your uh, steal. So I'm gonna go that route. So we're gonna back it up. We're gonna rewind it. Now you're gonna have a close shot of eighty-five and ninety-nine overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's gonna be a ninety-five. Your driving dunk. I mean, your driving layup will, like I said, will be a 92. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to go over the cap of 99 and be 102. You're going to be able to have Kyrie Irving's layup package with this build. Utilize it. Use it. Now, your driving dunk, once again, will be a 72. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be an 82. So you're going to be able to finish at that rim because you're going to be ultra fast. Now, you're, like I said, your, stand, your, your standing dunk will be... Now it will be a 60 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be a 70. Your mid range will be an 88 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be a 93. And then you're going to have a three point shot of 82 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be an 87. So you know you're, you're going to be wet shooting that three ball off of the dribble. This is a dribble guide right here for sure. Now, offensive threat dribble guide. You're going to have a free throw of 74 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be a 79. Your post fade, like I said, go check out that fadeaway tutorial. Learn how to shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant anywhere off the dribble. This build is going to be able to do that. Now, your fadeaway jump shot will be a 75 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be your 80. You're going to have a pass accuracy of 89 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, and 99 overall, that's going to be a 94. Look at your ball handle. You're going to have a 99 ball handle on this build. And 99 overall, and when your night decides to take over, that is going to be 109. So he basically, he's unstrippable. Now, uh, he's unpluckable. Your post control will be a 69 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be a 74. Now, you're going to have a perimeter defense of 70 at 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that is going to be a 75. You're going to have a, a lateral quickness of 79. And when your night decides to take over at 99 overall, matter of fact, you're going to have a lot of quickness of 78 at 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be an 83. You're going to have a steal of 80 at 99 overall. So you're going to be a pickpocket once you reach 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be an 85. Even though we didn't put anything on the block, we're going to put that badge on this block, on this build right here, so you can get that animation out of this build because you're going to have a block of uh, 31 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be a 36. Now, your defensive rebound will be a 69 and 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that will be, well, let me see, a 69. That'll be a 74. Now, the great thing about this build is the slash should take over and what it's going to do for you in your build, right? Now, I could take the shot, right? I could take the shot creator and get the 10 to everything in the shooting, right? That's what the logicals would say. But we know he can already shoot. He already can shoot. Yes, it will make him a better shooter. But the fact that you are low and the build is kind of low in the finishing as far as the dunks, that's where you need the slash to take over so you can get in there and you can finish strong. So your build isn't really one dimensional and you're feeling like, well, I can only go. You, you're not going to be able to really go inside with confidence at a high rate with that slash to take over. Being the fact that once you see it on there, you know, you actually can really go in there and finish strong. Now, you get an 18-point jump. All the other takeovers you can do from the seat of your chair, and you only get a five to your physicals. That's another thing why you want the slash to take over is to help out on that vertical and to finish at the rim strong. Now, at 99 overall, well, there's four ways to get the fours. One is a Gatorade facility, level 40, winning the NBA championship, and getting a 99 overall. So, at 99 overall, your strength is... I mean, your speed and your acceleration already go over the cap of 99, and they will both be 103. When you ignite the slash to take over at 99 overall, they're going to be 113. So you're going to basically be the fastest small forward on the court. You can guard point guard, two, you can guard point, two guard, easily, and 
and the um, small four. Now, if they bring you the power forward with this build, you're going to make the person who's guarding you quit because you're too fast. He's not going to want to play, especially if he's got a big, a big tall dude. He's not going to want to play because he can't come out there on you. If he comes out, you're going to blow by him off the dribble. Now, you're going to have a vertical of 77 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be an 87 then you're going to have a strength of 51 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that will be a 61. like i said i could take the shot creator it's tempting but i know what i how i like to play and i'm, I'm thinking about this build overall being able to finish to be a constant threat to make sure he's he's you have to guard him 94 feet you just can't say well he is i'm only going to have to guard him out of the three-point line that's where they're going to be completely wrong with this build right here like i said slashes receive extra boost to finishing at the rim in traffic and more effective gathers in the uh pass oh to get past the defense okay so that's why we want this because it's going to allow you to go to that rim and finish strong for this build and there you have it paul george's offensive threat exact building you're only going to find it here at ant lives the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel now i'm going to test this build and what i mean by that i'm just going to show you guys where i place the badges if i was to use this build I'm going to go with unstrippable. This right here. No. No, I'm going to go unstrippable. I'm going to go limitless. And this badge right here. You're going to make those shots. The Giant Slayer is just as good as Fearless Finisher. You, it's like, I used to go Fearless Finisher first. But now that I know I'm learning, I'm learning and I'm learning the game more. You want to go right here with Giant Slayer. I don't care how tall your build is. If he's sick, if he has a layup on him and he's under 6'9 and under, go with Giant Slayer. Now, we got three. We got to have, we're going to have three gold, right? Well, matter of fact, I'm going to go with catch and shoot. Of course, stop and pop. Well, fade ace. We'll go catch a stop a pop hit. Mm, Mitch match expert. And fade ace right here with this one right here. For sure. I'm not even going to worry about hot zone hunter. Not at all. Now I got 30 play making badges, right? So I'm going to use triple threat juke because of the speed of this build. You want to go here with this build right with this build right here because that one is up three under two over. Two over, three under, one up. It goes counterclockwise. You're going to be able to take your opponent off the dribble out of the triple threat. As well as going to, you can dribble into the uh, fadeaway jump shot. Go watch that fadeaway tutorial. And you can step back, hit the mid-range, and you can step back and shoot the three. But you're going to be able to blow by your opponent with ease with this triple threat juke. We're going to go on pluckable course. Uh, quick first step. Quick chain. Hyperdrive handles for days, ankle breaker, they're not gonna like you, and downhill. It's a wrap. Mm. Whew, look at that right there. Oh my goodness. They're not gonna like <laughs> my goodness. Now, if you don't want ankle breaker, ankle breaker is to show off the dance on, them, right? If you don't want ankle breaker, you can always go with, let's see, and then you wanna be a passer. Say you wanna be a passer, right? You can go bullet passer. And where is it at? Uh, needle threader. If that's what you wanted to do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. Make sure it is. Or, better yet, if you really want to get them, tight handles. Alright. Now, we got three defense. So I'm going to go to one with the chase down artist. Because you're going to get that effect. You're going to get that chase down. And then we're just going to go with pickpocket. Alright. Oops, and there you have it. 
only at Ant Lives channel. Now do we have Paul George's exact build for offensive threat. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you already know I got your back. This is build number 286. I am the old head goat builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am by far the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen and 286 builds this year for NBA 2K22 only prove that fact. Without anything further being said,